That territory was staked out last year by the Pontiac Fiero, and now the ante has been up by Toyota. The MR2, dubbed Mr. 2 by folks in the industry, is a typical Japanese car. Well-built, good paint, decent styling. But this car is different. For one thing, it's mid-engine, and that is a brave departure for any automaker, especially the usually conservative Japanese. For another, this car lacks the usual layer of gingerbread and electronic doodads found in Japanese cars. The interior is simple, almost stark. The instruments are no-nonsense, too. Easy to read analog gauges. This is a driver's car. If there's any doubt, just get it fired up and get it in gear. The car is strong in all five gears. The brakes and steering are excellent. The grip on the road is tenacious, with one exception. This is a mid-engine car, and like all mid-engine cars, it has a high polar moment of inertia. What that means is when you drive fast enough through a corner, the rear of the car can lose traction suddenly, and with very little warning. It comes as a rude and dangerous surprise for a lot of drivers who don't expect it. Checking our data panels, one thing we didn't expect was the price. Base price is a realistic $11,000, but by the time the dealer finished loading the car up with options, the price jumped to a staggering $16,564. Now the mileage is about what you'd expect. What did our staff like about the car? Almost everything. The performance, the handling, the interior, and the looks. Dislikes started with the price. Everybody mentioned the price. They felt $16,000 was just too much. Value rating, just about average. Again, this is based on that $16,000 price. Now take that away, and the overall rating jumps to well above average. That's only fair. Staff like this car. So do Toyota dealers. They know it will sell, and that's why they aren't bashful about adding options that will jack up the price. For people who appreciate good cars, that's a real shame. Ed Martell, Channel 5 News.